Alright, good evening again everybody. This is Nelka again and another question from our YouTube subscriber. Uh, his name is Jury Mandik and he said, Hi, these are useful. How do you create crown moldings or baseboards? Alright, so after Jurik Jur Mandik watched this YouTube video, he asked me this question. So, what is the moldings or baseboards? Okay, let us know what is that. So, this is one of the example of a baseboard or a molding. So, sometimes this molding can be found on your ceiling, but you can also see it on the base of your wall. That's why it's called baseboard. Okay, so let's do it. It's very easy jewelry. And uh, yeah, I will tell you and teach you how to do it. Okay, so let's go and check this one. So this is my project. This is a um, penthouse room. And we will create a nice molding somewhere here. Okay, in this corner. So we'll create a baseboard molding here. Alright, so there are only few icons or tabs which you need to use to create these moldings and these are mainly the object extrusion volume. Okay, so let's go to the plan view. It's very easy. So let's do it now. Okay, so for now, let's just um, create a simple one. So like, like this one. Okay, just a simple baseboard. So I'll go to uh, extrusion body. And if you have your layout of the baseboard, for example, you have your AutoCAD file here, and I'm sure it's in the elevation view or section view, you just need to pattern it. But for now, because I don't have the CAD file, I will just create and use my imagination to create my baseboard. All right, so I'll just create my baseboard like this, for example. Okay, so this is my lovely baseboard. Okay, so let's imagine this is a beautiful baseboard. Okay, I will just say yes. And then once it is done, okay, let's just check. Uh, I think my baseboard is ugly. Okay, fine. It's, it's okay. Okay, so let's go and check this one now. And um, see if you can see now it's in the vertical. So we need to uh, lie it in our wall. So go to the plan view. Or sorry in the elevation view and then rotate right click rotate and then make it lie on the floor put it in your floor go to the plan view and then oh, my room is irregular shape so let's go and check in the 3d how it looks okay so this is my baseboard I will just um, okay so this is the base so let's go and align it so just rotate it and align according to your wall and because my wall is not properly um, 90 degrees i'll just type say negative 25 all right so it seems it's okay negative 26 all right and then let's move it in the corner and then just copy it Control C, Control V. Now I have another copy, and then again rotate it, and then there you go. And type it here: negative one one four, maybe. Yes, negative one one three. Okay, and then move it again. So the room it seems it's not <laughs> ninety degrees, and then um, right click scale and then extend your baseboard up to here and then of course on the other side just do like that so scale and extend it up to here okay because my wall is not perfectly 90 degrees so let's just imagine it's like that or maybe we can arrange it negative 116 or oh, negative 112 Okay, let's move it 
right click and move okay now it's too much negative one one two point five all right okay it's really not 90 degrees so let's go and check so now i have my nice baseboard and there you go so baseboard is almost done so what if it's in the corner like this how are you going to do that so it's easy you just need to go and copy it Control c and Control v again and then rotate it again of course and this is the problem now later i will show you the problem okay so this is 64 i'll just make it 65 or 63 or 62.5 there you go and then go and check and of course scale it scale 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 there you go now this is the corner and this is the problem so because if you do like this and if you add here let's again control c and control v for another copy if it's in sketchup it's easy but because it's dialogs it will now it's hard so negative 24 or negative 28 negative 29 negative 30 there you go or negative 29.5 yes so if you go and check it in 3d it will be look like this which is totally wrong because see the intersection and overlapping of this baseboard is not correct so what we're going to do is we will just copy this one Control c and Control v and then we will move it a little farther here for now and let's scale it make it shorter because we just need the intersection of these two objects and then again scale this one yes okay and then just intersect these two so what i'm going to do look at this one move and make sure it's like this okay so click the two objects together go to this tab copy and arrange and then select the intersection so there, there are three boolean operations here one is combine subtract and intersection so just select the intersection and then intersect and then once it is intersected you will see that it will be look like this okay so this will be your corner okay you can imagine is what is this i will show you what is this now so let's move this one here put it in the corner and then select this one and then scale it there you go also the other one move it and, uh, sorry sorry scale it and then do like this okay so let's see how it looks if my molding is in proper uh, 90 degrees it's much better and much easier but because it's not properly aligned that's why i have a problem with my object so let's do like this a little overlapping and then scale also and then you can combine this one if you like so let's go and check it in 3d 3d there you go so you can see here now on the corner there is no problem like this but if it's a protruding corner like here so you can see the problem and how the saw that one is just intersect those corners and now if it is okay now to you you will just need to right click and then extend it more to the end of your uh, wall again you will have problem here so if you want to do it like this again just do it and the best thing you can do is just control c and control v and then just copy this one it here and then rotate it accordingly because it will be just the same like this and then again add it to the other side you can see here now and then you can add another one to the other side all right so it's easy 
that is how you will do your lovely baseboard all right so you can do also that one in your um, ceiling and yeah so that's it and i hope you learned something in this video tutorial so see you again next time bye